Hey, my friends, what's going on, oh, no quitters? How you guys doing today? I hope you're having a great day. So guys, in this video today, we're gonna be talking about 10 secrets to quit your job this year. So I hope you're excited. So pound that for watching this video, pow! So guys, excited, I'm gonna bring this video to you, my friend, today. So we're gonna be talking about 10 secrets on quitting your job in this year on how to quit your job. Number one. You go hard, right? You go hard or you go home. You do. You know what's gonna happen to yourself, guys? I can tell you, you can change your life. Okay, the number one thing, cease thinking that your job is the way to success. That's gonna be the number one thing because it's gonna have to start with you believing in the possibility that you know people that are successful, they're not looking to work a job in order for them to make their income. So you have to stop thinking that your job is the only way that you can provide for yourself, is the only way that you can create money. You know, it took me some time to realize that because maybe around you, your friends, your family, everybody that you know, the only way they create income is by working a job. And it's the dumbest way. Like it's the dumbest way to create income because you're always gonna cap. If you're working per hour, you can only get paid a certain amount of money per hour and there's only a certain amount of hour in the day unless you live on a different planet. Like there was a planet they find out that's similar to Earth. They don't know if there's any humans on it because it's like, um, I think 3,000 years away from Earth. So in order for you to go there, you would actually die. Like your next generation, next generation would probably get there on the way there, but they were able to use some type of, um, some type of um, view, um, stethoscope to, to be able to see it. So what I'm saying is that if you live on this planet, you only have 24 hours. And in that 24 hours, there's so much money you can make if you get if you getting paid ten dollars an hour. If you get paid twenty dollars an hour, there's this amount of money that you can get paid. So what you want to do, you want to focus on the fact that my job is not the only way that I can create income. It's not the only thing that can create me income. And people that are wealthy, they know that, right? They understand how money works. They understand how you know using the abilities that they have, using products and services to create income in their life, okay? So once you start getting your mind to start thinking about, okay, I don't like this job, I don't want it, this is not I want, what I want in 2017, we need to create a plan on how we're gonna become free. People that are making it happen, they have freedom. They have freedom of choice, they do whatever they want, whenever they want. I just came from Miami, um, it's been a great time, you know, we get back for New Year, and I'm gonna be traveling to Vancouver, I mean, it's totally crazy to have the freedom to do that, so can you do the same. The number two point that I wanna cover with you is that you must become open to opportunities, okay? Number two, you must become open to opportunities, okay? If your friends and your families, all they ever told you was, hey, you know, um, go get a job and work at McDonald's, work your way up, or go get a job in a corporate office, work your way up, go to college and get a degree, and then go work a job and work your way up, and that doesn't work, so you need to start looking for different opportunities on how you can grow yourself to the next level. Because with those opportunities now, with, with change, opportunity happens. Here's one thing. Um, earlier I was listening to some data on people that went to college and how things has changed. Like 76% of those people will graduate, right? 76% of those people will graduate for the job field but only about 10 to 15% of those people will even work on the career. The rest go work at a restaurant. The rest do things that they don't like to do. And you don't want that to be you. So you want to start opening your mind to opportunities. See what are the changes that are happening in the world. With change, with trends comes opportunity. Like the internet right now is a major, it's a massive change where people can sit at home and create income for themselves. Where people can travel the world, like you become a citizen of the world, you can create income. You don't have to sit at a desk. Like you don't have to sit there 
24 hours in a day. Matter of fact, there's a, there's a lot of machine that's replacing people. That's taking your job, okay? So you gotta learn how to take opportunities. What are the things that are changing right now, okay? So now, how do you spot those opportunities in this year coming up? First thing I say look at, there's a couple of things that you wanna look at. You wanna look at your passion, you wanna look at your hobbies, the thing that you do every single day. Look at your characters. You know, look at your enjoyment, the things that you enjoy, your curiosity, the things that you are, you're curious about, you know, because if you're curious about how can I make money online and you know it's possible, well, that's an opportunity there. You start looking into it. If you enjoy going to the gym, working out, you know, feeding, get fit, you know, that's something that you enjoy. There's an opportunity there because you enjoy these things. They're going to make you feel like you're growing. They're going to make you feel excited. So what you want to do, you want to use your curiosity. You want to use your enjoyment. You want to use them as instruments of wealth. Okay, Use those things as instruments of wealth for you. Instead of using your job and leverage your hour, look at the things that you're passionate about. If you're a young, young man, you like playing video games, I promise you. Right now, there's people on this same platform you're watching this video that's making thousands thousands of dollars every month from YouTube for playing video games. They doing what they love. They just project it on the screen. Find out how can you project your screen. Play your video games. If that's what you want to do, show other people. See, people that are successful, they share their knowledge. They share the things that they are doing. And people are collecting money just for sitting at home and playing video games. Now, I rather personally have something that's going to impact people's lives, have something that's going to impact the world. But it doesn't matter. Money, money has no conscience. It doesn't matter if you're good. It doesn't matter if you're bad. If you can attract the mass, you can have something that a lot of people want and people are willing to pay for it. Like on YouTube, you can monetize and people are paying ads money to play ads on your video. You can monetize your video. So the fact that there is an opportunity, your eyes are open. See, I'm just opening your eyes right now, even if you play video games, because there's an opportunity there. Your eyes are open. You love doing that? Well, show people how you won Game of War. Show people how you beat the 2K game. Project it out there. There's an opportunity where you can create income with that. I know I'm telling you things that other people aren't telling you. Okay, which is number four. What are the opportunity? Once you find your hobbies, the stuff that you like to do, you know, the stuff that you enjoy, the stuff that you're curious about, the stuff that you're passionate about, what are the opportunities around them? Once you find the opportunities around them, you understand now you can monetize. How do you capitalize? So you start thinking like rich people do, okay? Which is number six. Think like rich people do. Rich people, they don't think I'm gonna work a job. They don't think, oh, I need this job. That's gonna change my life. They think about legacy. They think about what can they do to impact the world when they're not here anymore, that they will have something that they left behind that can help their family, that can help the world, that change the sphere of the world. Like so many people, they go so set up on this job, right? They sit down in a cubicle where your mind is just as expanded as the cubicle that you in if you work in a cubicle, right? No offense to those of you that's working. I'm trying to enlighten your mind to make you understand that if you're going to come in 2000, if you're going to come in, 2000, in the next year coming in, this next year coming now, you must understand these things, okay? What do I need to have in comparison to what I had back then that can create for myself what I'm looking for for this year? So you need to start thinking like those people think, okay? There's a book called Think and Grow Rich, okay? Not work and grow rich. It's the way that the people that are rich, they have a different way of processing information. They have a different mindset than the average people have. So you need to start thinking like those people. And usually those people, they become rich even before they have what you call evident riches, which is the cars, the house, the money. That's probably what people call evident riches. Right now, I don't care if you broke, you have no money in the bank. You can instantly become rich. And how do you do that? Think and grow rich. Think in your mind. You need to start thinking of wealth, abundance, riches, versus thinking of your problems. If you got a lot of bills, don't focus on the bills. Think on opportunities. Think on the thing that's gonna grow you, that's gonna help you get richer. And you automatically become rich in your mind. When you see your bills, it's like, oh man, 
I'm rich, man. I'm going to pay this stuff. It's not a problem. Start thinking that way. Because what's going to happen, whatever the mind think of, it start expanding to get what you want. It expands, it becomes more realistic to you. So if you keep saying to yourself that you're wealthy, now there's one, now there's a problem here, right? <laughs> there's this thing called the law of attraction that people believe in. I do believe in it. But personally, I don't believe just saying to yourself, you're rich, you're wealthy, and you have a bunch of bills, and you don't have any way but your job to create income that you will become wealthy. You need to start looking into opportunities. Now, when you start taking action with whatever, with your belief system, they collide together. They're going to get you to the level that you're trying to get yourself to, which is what I'm going into number seven. Number seven, developing yourself. Okay? Focus on developing yourself this year. Stop focusing on the job. Stop focusing on getting another raise. Stop focusing on how can I do my job the best. You know, develop who you are. Start reading books. Start listening to audio. Develop who you are as a person. Jim Rohn says that. You know, uh, work more on yourself than you work on the job. And you become, you're going to become so good at what you do. The raise will come. If you become a better person, you become more effective. You become a more effective communicator. You become a more effective person at whatever that you do. The job will see the need to even provide you with better opportunity. But remember, the goal is not to stay and grow in the job. It's to actually quit the job and leave your dream. It's to actually create the job and go for what you want. So all the opportunities, if you do these things, guys, these things are secret. If you do these things that I'm sharing with you, not only are you going to open up the doors for opportunities for yourself, but at the same time, you're going to find it's going to start attract more people in your life. It's going to start attracting more wealth, more people, and you're going to be able to grow yourself to a whole next level. Okay? Number eight, go for it regardless of the emotional fears that you have. Go for it regardless of the emotional blocking. Because in the process of thinking about quitting your job in this year, you're going to grow, you're going to take opportunities, you're going to start opening up your mind to what's around you. There's going to be some emotional blocking. Let me give you one of them, really powerful one. Have you ever found yourself that you spend $40 on a training, or you spend $100, or you spend $5,000 on a mentor, or you spend $10,000 on a retreat, and you go there, and you find massive value, but the fact that at the moment, you know, you spend $40 on a course, the fact that you don't get instant results, like a lot of people, they're looking for, oh, I spent $40 today, I make $100 tomorrow, and then next week I make $5,000, and I make a million dollars from a $100 investment. And that's how we look at it. And I think that you have to overcome. I had to overcome that, that part of my life, uh, that part of myself. Like a lot of time, we get caught up into, it's easy for me to go on a vacation and spend a thousand dollars. I enjoy myself. It's easy for me to spend five thousand dollars on a new 70 inch screen TV, put it in the living room. I'm looking at it. It's easy for me to go buy a car and spend 70 G's on it where all this stuff, they are depreciating assets. They are taking away from our value. You sit in front of a TV and watch TV for five, 10 hours a day, you literally committing mental suicide because you're not thinking, you're thinking the other people's thinking, the way, the value that the media project onto you. And I think that's one of the reasons why, you know, United States is one of the biggest country in the world. It's not, you know, to a point where I look, there's a lot of stuff that's being made by different countries. Like everything you touch is made by China, but the fact that control media Right, everywhere in the world is absorbing their movies, their shows, everything. So they can control the thinking of you. So if you sit there, you go buy yourself a TV, what you're seeing in a TV, it becomes a reality to you. So your thinking is being manipulated by what you're seeing. Don't you see like some girls they want to dress like the girls they watch on, you know, um, I Love New York, or they watch a TV show, Basketball Wives, and they start thinking like those people because they so into that world. So the media start. It start correct. It start you know um, giving you the way that you must think. This is not where you want to be. So this year you want to make it a goal that investing into yourself. Back to that, right? So when you invest into those those things that does not help you grow, that does not help you quit your job, that does not help you take yourself to the next level, you need to invest into trainings. Invest into books and it doesn't feel like it bothers you if you don't make the money. Even if you don't make your money back the same day, I want you to invest $500 in a training and feel like, yeah, I'm investing into myself. 
See, you gotta see it as investing into you through a training, through learning, to potential. That's gonna increase your potential and help you take yourself to the next level. This is where the true value is. Not in the things that you buy, like the food that you buy, it depreciates. Because after a couple of minutes, you gotta go to the bathroom. Right, the cars that you buy, it depreciate. As the years goes by, once you leave the parking lot, the parking lot with the car, it's worth $20,000 less. I mean, it's crazy. These things, they depreciate in your life, but our mind is so wired to see these things as what we must spend on. In the meanwhile, they have no true value or potential value of helping us reach our goals. So what you really want to do through those times like this year, I want you to focus on every money that you spend on training, on acquire some new knowledge, on acquire some new traffic, on, on helping you build your business, whatever that you're doing, I want you to love that money. I want you to appreciate. Why? Because you're spending on you. Now, I'm not saying if you buy food for your kids, don't appreciate this stuff, right? But I'm saying take a little bit of time to see what are the investment, the positive investment that I'm making in myself. People that are wealthy, they know that. They reframe their mind. They get excited when they get a new book. They get excited when they, get a, they make a new connection. They go somewhere, they meet someone, you know, you know, here's one thing. I, I know that's not part of, of the list that I gave you, but buy your way to success this year. I learned that from one of my mentors. He said, buy your way to success because part of your success is going to be about the people you are connected with. Connection. So how do you get connected with those people? You got to find out where they're going to be at and more likely they're going to be it's going gonna, it's gonna to take you a price, whether you got to call them on the phone, whether you got to pay them, whether you got to pay on a flight to go somewhere in, in, in Belize and meet with them, whether you got to go to a convention, whether you got to buy their books. It's going to cost you something to meet with those people. And he said the first couple of years of your success, road cater, you're going to have to buy your way to success. And I'm sharing that knowledge with you. And if you do find some value, leave a comment down below, right? No quitters? You got it? <laughs> quitters never quit, winners never win buy your way to success. And that's what I'm saying this year, start implementing and start spend, like investing, not spending. Start investing in yourself, acquiring knowledge and start taking daily action to get yourself to the level that you're looking for because there's gonna be emotional blockage. Because when you feel like buying something for your business, it's going to feel like, oh man, I feel so much better when I buy a TV or when I buy some food. I'm, I ate the food. I feel so excited. People will go out and spend $100 on drinks. But when it's time for them to spend, you know, $50 in Facebook ads, it's like, it's a pain. Like when Facebook is getting that money out of the account. Have you ever paid for a business? You have an auto ship. Uh, maybe you have this business model you follow and it's $97 a month and they take that money. It's like, oh, oh, oh it's like someone just, you know, stab you with a knife in a heart when it happens. But yet you go out with your friends and you guys are drinking, you guys are having a good time and the bill was $100. You're like, yeah, I got it, man. You pay $100. I mean, it doesn't feel as painful. So you need to start you know, you need to start rewiring your mind and start seeing those things that do not bring value in your life, that do not bring you closer to your goal. You start seeing them as the painful stuff in your life. Then start seeing these things like a business venture, a business opportunity, something that can help me, you know, um, further my career, something that can help me with my skill set, help me develop the person that I am, help me develop my hobbies to the next level, like investing into a camera if you want to take YouTube to a whole next level, investing into lenses, different stuff that's going to help you grow, investing into training, investing into learning, go to events, get connected, you know, connecting with some major people that's going to help you break through inside of your life. You need to start seeing these things as the major things that's gonna start changing your life and you need to start appreciating the fact that you can actually invest into these things, okay? Number nine, for you to quit your job this year, phone is ringing. Number nine, set a date. Okay, if you have a goal, you must have a date. You know, I don't care if you set it as December 24th or December 21 or June 15, it doesn't matter, choose a date. Choose a date on when you're going to quit. Because if you don't choose, you don't have to go show your manager and <laughs> you get fired before you quit now, <laughs> right? But choose a date, okay? I'm serious about this this year. This is when I'm gonna quit my job and I'm gonna quit my job by, you know, February 15th of this year. This is how it's gonna happen. This is what's gonna happen. Point blank period, I don't care. I'm gonna make it happen. Boom, 
Say that day every single day, which is number 10. Number 10, write down your goals and say it to yourself every single day. In the morning, before you go to sleep, every day, three times a day while you're at work, keep saying to yourself every day, I'm way bigger than this place. You're in a cubicle right now, and you, you see yourself as this person who's traveling the world, who's taking your kids wherever you want, who's doing whatever you want on your own term. When you walk in that place, say to yourself, you don't have to tell your manager now, I'm not trying to get you fired early. Well, if it happens, so what? Still build your dream. Still follow your goal, which is, you got to. So, what I'm saying, guys, if it happens, um, so when you walk in there, say to yourself, man, this is not where I see myself. I'm traveling the world, man. I'm doing the things that I love. I'm doing the things that I'm passionate about. I'm building this billion dollar business. I'm a millionaire already in my head. Nothing is gonna stop me, and I'm gonna get it. So you wanna start saying these things to yourself. You wanna start thinking that way. Because when you do, I promise you, when you start repeating your goals, every single day, you're going to start taking it to a whole next level because now your mind is being rewired, which is number 10. Your mind is being rewired now. You are taking yourself to a whole next level because the people around you, they're not going to understand your dreams. They're not going to understand your goal, which is why I want to give you one bonus. Even though I, I was going to give you 10, 10 secrets, right, to help you quit your job this year in 2000. Um, whatever 2000 you're watching this, whether it's 2017, 2020, it doesn't matter. The secrets apply. We've been around for years and people have used the same thing. I've used the same thing to create the same amount of success in my life and I believe you can do the same thing for yourself. Okay, I want to give you a bonus tip. Okay, bonus tip, follow your dreams. Okay, people that have ideas, they build things for other people that don't have ideas. Follow your dreams. Start thinking, what are my ideas? What are my dreams? People that have a dreams, they hire other people to build their dreams because those other people, they were too afraid to go for theirs. You see, the person you're working for at your job, I want you to find the story of the boss, of your boss, the owner. I'm not talking about your manager who's telling you, who's bossing you around and tell you go left or go get this box, go right, go left. I'm not talking about that guy. I'm talking about the owner, the real owner of the business, the person you never see in office. Right, that guy when he's coming around and everybody gotta be on the best behavior, even the manager, oh my God, oh, Mr. Mr. X is coming today. Yo, you gotta get this thing in, you gotta, that guy. Yeah, that guy. I want you to find out his story. I want you to find out who he is, how did he, accu how did he accumulate what he has? Does he work? Does he not? Yeah, that guy, find out his story, or that girl, that girl, could be a girl, too. it could be a lady. Find out that person's story, and look at that person's story and see what have they done in their lives to accumulate the income, to have you working for them, to have them chilling on the beach, traveling the world, do whatever they want, living life on their own terms, following their dreams. They following their dreams while you are just a pun in their dreams. Are you living your dreams? So this year, guys, if you follow this principle that I share with you, you should be able to take it to a whole next level. And if you do find value in this video, feel free to like it, Share it with a friend. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, Happy New Year for those of you who's getting into the new year. That's going to make stuff happen. Set your resolution. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. That was Cater. Appreciate you. No quitters. I'll see you guys later.